everyone, welcome to Sensory Storytime here at the Middle Country Public Library. My name is Misty Now, and today we're going to read a few books and I'm going to show you some fun sensory activities for you to do at home. Today we're going to read A Color of His Own by Leo Leone. Parrots are green, goldfish are red. Elephants are gray, pigs are pink. All animals have a color of their own. Except for chameleons, they change color wherever they go. On lemons, they are yellow. On heather, they are purple. And on the tiger, they are striped like tigers. One day, chameleon was sitting on a tiger's tail and said to himself, if I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And so I too will have a color of my own. With this thought cheerfully, he climbed onto the greatest leaf. And in the autumn, the leaf turned yellow, and so did the chameleon. Later, the leaf turned red, and the chameleon too turned red. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch, and with it, the chameleon. The chameleon was dark in the long winter night. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass, and there he met another chameleon and told his sad story. Will we ever have a color of our own, he asked. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But, he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, you and I. We'll always be alike. And so they remained side to side. They were green together and purple and yellow and red with white polka dots and they lived happily ever after. The end. Next we're going to read My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. Some days are yellow. Some days are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. Oh, bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. On other days, on bright blue days, I flap my wings. Some days, of course, feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow, low, low down. Then it comes a yellow day, and wee, I'm a busy, busy bee. Gray day, everything is gray, I watch, but nothing moves today. Then all of a sudden, I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Green days, deep, deep, deep in the sea, cool and quiet fish, that's me. On purple days, I'm sad. I groan, I drag my tail, I walk alone. But when my days are happy, I am pink. I jump, it's, it's great to jump and just not to think. Then I come my black days, mad and loud. I howl and growl at every cloud. Then comes a mix up day and wham, I don't know or what I am. But it all turns out all right, you see, and I go back to being me. The end. And our last color book is Warthog's Paint, a Messy Color Book by Pamela Duncan Edwards. The warthogs can't go out, it's such a rainy day, but everyone's tired of warthog play. There must be something they can do, they cry, as they watch the rain falling from the sky. I've got an idea. Why don't we start to paint our wall with warthog art? All colors can be made, I've heard it said, as long as we have some yellow, blue, and red. Good idea, they cheer, and everyone rushes to find the paint and fetch the brushes. Splash, lend low. Splash, stretch tall. Let's paint red on our kitchen wall. 
Run up the ladder, run up the top. Be careful there, don't let the pot drop. The ladder's wobbling, danger, look out. See the big yellow puddle and the little yellow snout? Splash, blend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint yellow on our kitchen wall. Here I come, please let me through. It's now my turn to paint blue. Crash, whoops, wheel. Woo, this is funny. This is, I'm mopping up the floor with a bright blue tummy. Splash, blend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint our blue on our kitchen wall. Excuse me, please, I don't want to slip. I'll stand back, the paint's going to tip. What a terrible mess, but you can see it's clear. Mixing blue and yellow make green appear. Splash, blend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint green on our kitchen wall. Orange is my favorite color. Can I make that? Hey, watch out, I've tripped on the mat. Splash, splat, you're a clever fellow. You've made orange by mixing red and yellow. Splash, blend low, splash, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint orange on our kitchen wall. The eager painter isn't looking where she's going. Across the floor, red and blue are flowing. Watch red and blue are, as they mix and muddle. Soon we'll be able to be paddling in a purple puddle. Splash, blend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint purple on your kitchen wall. They've had a good time on this dull wet day. Warthog painting has chased the gloom away. They've worked so hard and they've had such fun. So their big warthog rainbow and their little teddy sun. And this explains the primary colors. So we have red, blue, and yellow are primary colors. And then you mix them together and they make different colors. Yellow and blue make green, red, and yellow make orange, and red and blue make purple. And you could try that at home making, um, using primary colors and making different color paints. One of the act fun activities I have for you to do at home is sorting colors. You can use a muffin tin and some pom-poms. You can use all different uh, shapes of pom-poms. You can use tongs, tweezers, cups, and you just have to categorize them uh, by colors. You could also do shapes as well. Um, so you could put the blues with the blues, the reds with the reds. If there's different shades, you can put different shades together too. Um, so this is fun. And then you could also add like ice cream making into this, make them, um, or baking. Um, just a fun activity to add more to it. And that's um, pom-poms and a muffin tin, pretty simple. And then we have some fun sensory bags. These are Ziploc bags with masking tape around them. This one has feathers, so this is a great um, sensory play. And feathers are great um, to recognize colors, different colors, so feathers. Then these are little noodles. And same thing, a bag with masking tape around it. Uh, so these are fun. They're also fun to feel and play with. Um, and these are different colors as well. Um, if you don't, these are special noodles that the library has. If you don't have these, you could also use um, pasta, paint pasta. You could also use sometimes, um, you could use crayons. You could use anything that's colorful, put it inside. Straws. Um, the last one is, once again, a Ziploc bag with masking tape around it. It does have glitter. You can use glitter, you can't use glitter, whatever um, whatever you would like. Uh, you don't have to. Um, so this is pasta with some pink glitter, if you can see that. And this is fun to shake it up. The other ones are fun to shake it as, up as well. Um, the pasta inside is different colors. Um, so that would be fun to paint the pasta and then put it inside once it's dry um, for color recognition. Um, you can use it for a shape, which is big, which is smaller too, as well. Um, if you're gonna do um, shape and colors, the glitter may, may make it hard to see. So you can always add glitter to another bag um, with colors too. So that is our fun sensory bags that you can make at home. And our last one is just a little, this is very simple. 
um, just find, I picked green, red, and blue. And these are just fine things around the house, whether it's crafts, um, simple uh, utensils, uh, cooking utensils, simple toys you have at home, just to do color recognition. So I found a pom-pom, a butterfly, and a sequence. So this is my green one, my blue one, and my red one. So you can just lay them. You would just lay them down, you can glue them. You, if they're toys or simple things around the house, you could just lay them on top and do a fun color scavenger hunt around the house. Um, and then our last one, which is a simple activity, is just some fun Play-Doh. So you could do color recognition with Play-Doh. You could do purple, um, pink, blue, green, and you could just um, make a round shape and then you make a little ball and you are going to match the balls of Play-Doh um, to their round circle, whoops, to their round circle. And that's it. So thank you for joining us today for Sensory Storytime. I hope to see you soon.